As a protein is synthesized, it folds into what is known as its native conformation, determined by its amino acid sequence. However, if the protein is unable to achieve its proper conformation on its own, it may require assistance from protein quality control mechanisms. As a result, cells have evolved numerous mechanisms to ensure protein quality control, known as the proteostasis network. These include the use of molecular chaperones which assist in protein folding. A breakdown in this proteostasis network can cause the formation of amorphous aggregates or amyloid fibrils, leading to many human neurodegenerative diseases, including Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and ALS. More than 5 million Americans live with Alzheimer's disease. Parkinson's disease affects approximately 1 million Americans, and ALS currently affects 30,000 Americans. Although the causative proteins in these neurodegenerative diseases are composed of distinct primary sequences and three-dimensional structures, they can all adopt a similar generic amyloid conformation. This cross beta sheet structure is highly stable, thus making them less amenable to disaggregation. Alpha-synuclein in Parkinson's disease provides an example of a protein that misfolds into amyloid fibrils in neurodegenerative disease. Alpha-synuclein is a presynaptic protein enriched in the brain whose function is not entirely understood but is thought to be involved in synaptic vesicle fusion. Its aggregation is thought to cause degeneration of dopaminergic neurons. Thus, a promising approach to treat alpha-synuclein-mediated neurodegeneration would be to interfere with this aggregation process. HSP-104 is ideally situated as a potential therapy because it is the only known enzyme that can disaggregate preformed protein aggregates. As a conserved hexameric protein disaggregase, HSP-104 functions in yeast in collaboration with chaperones HSP-70 and HSP-40. It couples ATP hydrolysis with disaggregation of amyloid fibrils and amorphous aggregates in order to return them to a soluble functional state. First, the misfolded protein aggregate interacts with the J-domain protein causing HSP70 to be recruited. The nucleotide binding domain of HSP70 directly interacts with the middle domain of HSP104 in order to catalyze ATP hydrolysis in HSP104. HSP104 selects individual polypeptides and threads them through its central pore. In doing so, these proteins are unfolded and then released to fold into their native conformations either on their own or with the assistance of chaperones. Using a yeast toxicity assay, it was shown that expression of alpha-synuclein in yeast causes toxicity. However, when wild-type HSP-104 was expressed in the presence of alpha-synuclein, it was insufficient to rescue alpha-synuclein-mediated toxicity. Therefore, a recent study aimed to re-engineer HSP-104 to achieve potency against disaggregating alpha-synuclein amyloid fibrils. It was determined that mutations at the 503 position from alanine to valine or serine decrease alpha-synuclein toxicity in yeast. Interestingly, this amino acid is located in the middle domain, a coiled-coil domain distinctive to HSP-104. Further studies compared the aggregation of alpha-synuclein fibrils incubated with wild-type HSP-104 with those incubated with the HSP-104 A503V mutant. When alpha-synuclein fibrils were incubated in the presence of wild-type HSP-104, the fibrils remained aggregated. However, when the fibrils were incubated in the presence of the HSP-104 A503V mutant, electromicroscopy revealed that these alpha-synuclein fibrils were disaggregated. These HSP104 mutants were also determined to suppress alpha-synuclein aggregation and cell mislocalization in yeast. Although alpha-synuclein is normally found in the plasma membrane in yeast, cells expressing alpha-synuclein and wild-type HSP104 contain alpha-synuclein aggregates that are localized to the cytoplasm. However, in the presence of the HSP104 A503V mutant, 
alpha-synuclein remained correctly localized to the plasma membrane. In addition, in a metazoan model of C. elegans, in the presence of only alpha-synuclein, few dopaminergic neurons were found. However, in the presence of alpha-synuclein as well as the HSP104A5O3S mutant, more dopaminergic neurons were found to be present, demonstrating that this HSP104 mutant was able to rescue dopaminergic neurodegeneration. These results demonstrate that HSP104 mutants could potentially be given to Parkinson's disease patients in order to alleviate disease symptoms, such as aggregation of alpha-synuclein fibrils and degeneration of dopaminergic neurons. Still, a major challenge of introducing HSP-104 as a therapy for Parkinson's disease is determining a way to introduce it as a functional enzyme into neurons. Furthermore, future research prospects may involve engineering HSP-104 mutants to target many of the specific proteins known to be involved in neurodegenerative diseases, such as tau, TDP43, and FUS.